Hello guys, welcome to another short video of SpaceX updates. Earlier today, SpaceX successfully conducted a static fire test on Falcon Heavy at Pad 39A inside Kennedy Space Center. SpaceX confirmed it was a full-duration static fire test. Next, the rocket will be lowered horizontally and rolled back inside the hangar for fairing and payload integration ahead of its launch on January 14. At Starbase, SpaceX ramps up preparation for the full 33-engine static fire of Booster 7. Booster 9 was rolled back to the production site for engine installation. Testing on the full-stack Starship could start tomorrow although what kind of test they will do remains to be seen. A possible road closure is posted for tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. A BL Space Systems test flight mission, RS-1 mission ended in failure. This is the second time we saw a launch attempt failure in two consecutive days. The company does not broadcast the mission live. According to the company's Twitter account, after successful liftoff, the rocket suffered an anomaly with a premature engine shutdown. Many hours later, it was confirmed by the company that the rocket fell down and exploded on the launch site and impacted the launch facility. United Launch Alliance is also slowly crawling into what has already been an electrifying start to 2023. Its new rocket with a high expectation bar, the Vulcan Centaur rocket is expected to fly on its maiden flight in Q1 of this year. The first stage booster, CERT-1 was rolled out of its rocket factory in Decatur, Alabama, and boarded its transportation ship. Now, the ship will be heading to its launch site at Cape. The maiden flight will launch Astrobotic Technologies' Peregrine Lunar Lander for NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program and Amazon's Kuiper Systems' CuperSat-1 and CuperSat-2 satellites. That is it for this short video. Thank you for watching.